So I first noticed, if I'm honest, uh, I was probably losing it, I don't know, ages ago, maybe five, six years ago, maybe even longer than that. Uh, but it really probably came home about, um, what, about 15 months ago when my girlfriend told me she was pregnant. So the reason I considered a hair transplant is, um, it's probably not the same for everyone, but actually somebody I played football with probably about four or five months earlier had actually shared it on Instagram. The consultation at the start was really good. Um, definitely put me at ease. And I think probably the one thing that wasn't standard around my original consultation was um, Dr. Ash had had an idea, had a proposal, and then I had time to go away and think about it. Um, and I had some discussions uh, with Dr. Arshad and, and with Sam afterwards to actually talk around what, what I actually wanted. And for me personally, it was more um, filling out in the middle. And it, it was great that they were really comfortable and helped me to support me through that change. So I was, yeah, I was really pleased with that. The actual day of the procedure um, was great. I'd been told beforehand it would be pretty much a full day. Get here at sort of, I think it was about 8.30 in the morning. Um, you will probably leave about half six at night. Um, for me personally, the best thing was they did it on a Saturday. So I was able to take a full week off work. I'd read sort of through the literature and it said that it would take about a week for the scabs to heal. Um, and it's, I was quite worried about what other people would think about it, especially work, how would I be perceived. I'd actually only started a new job about five months earlier, I think it was. Um, and so turn up on a Saturday morning, um, I think I was in pretty quickly within sort of 20 minutes. Um, throughout the whole day, there was probably only two periods where there was any, there was a little bit of pain when they put the anaesthetic in, but it lasted a few seconds, maybe 30, 40 seconds. That was it. For the rest of the day, it was in the theatre. I had the music on, they were playing the radio all day long. Um, was plenty of, whenever you need to go for a toilet break, just let me out. I could barely, I was aware of what they were doing and they kept talking to me throughout the whole thing. But it was no different from somebody just working by the side of me. It was really comfortable actually. So the post-operation recovery was, um, it was really precise for that first week. Um, so for the first, I think it was three or four nights, uh, you have to sleep with like a, a travel pillow behind your neck. Um, I sleep really well on the sofa, so to be honest, I slept on the sofa for three nights. Um, and the, throughout, um, Sam and Dr. Ash had talked to me about making sure the plants and the, um, they, they take hold, and it was that really key period at the start. Um, and I think that's probably just looking after them and taking everything a little bit steady and not being at work for those first three to four days was the key period. Yes, so there's, I can't remember the exact name of them, but after the procedure, um, Dr. Arshad gave me a, a pack of medication to take. There's the warm tablet that I think was for 12 months. Um, what was actually really helpful is they only gave me four months at a time, so I didn't lose them, which I thought was quite a sensible thing. Um, and there were a couple of other um, tablets, I think, for the first week that I had to take as well. I really started noticing probably um, the results of my hair growing back, I think probably after, a... initially it was maybe about three months in, that I saw some change, um, but it was more like six months in that I really actually started to notice uh, the impact. I would 100% recommend a hair transplant, yes. Um, I think meeting the people, getting the information beforehand and knowing, especially the timeline about what to expect, will probably make you feel at ease. So the advice I'd give to anybody um, with a hair loss, um, I'd, I'd find out some information, I'd meet somebody like Dr. Arshad, um, who could actually give you some of the facts, talk you through, talk you through the process if it's something you're considering. Because I think there was, well, before, I, before I met the doctor and, and probably spoke to my friend who'd gone through the process, I probably, um, I didn't fully understand it. I didn't really understand the process how long it would take, I didn't understand um, the impact it would have on my, on my life. Um, so if you're unsure, I'd absolutely speak to somebody. Definitely, 100%.